probably the most famous in the tune, but certainly the longest. Aye, you can tell by how many big issue sellers they are. And this is probably a, a sixth big issue seller street. But there is another street just as famous. And it's here, Argyle Street, which is a four big issue seller street. Aye, and it's a great street for entertainment, you know, your buskers. Aye, and the guys that draw on the pavement. Aye, some of them are quite good, by the way. Ah, but a few years ago there was one guy who used to give us the creeps. You know who I'm talking about? Robot man. Guy used to dress all in white and move like a robot. He used to scare the Waynes shitless. Scare the Waynes? He used to scare us shitless because you really never knew about him. Aye. Even though you knew it was a guy dressed in a boiler suit with dark glasses on, you didn't want to go near him just in case. Can't be thinking it. He's not been seen here in a while. Aye. Need to knew who he was, where he came from, or what happened to him. Except us. You may have noticed that we're no great fans of Edinburgh. Aye, you think he's a something, so you do. Hogging all the culture. Well, give us some culture, you bams. <sighs> Shut up, sugar, make an arse of yourself. Oh, me wonder. It's a touchy subject for me, ever since I got punched in the fizzer with that big hooray Henry at the rugby game. Well, you did say that rugby was for big poofs that couldn't play football. Now, wouldn't you learn from that wee escapade? Well, big poofs can hit hard. Exactly. I can't be thinking, I didn't see you being in to help me. Well, you didn't shout honours. Well, maybe I was too busy swallowing my teeth. Well, it's good to keep busy, Shug. Anyway, what we've done is we've compiled. Eh, that's the first time I've ever used that word, compiled. What's the little things that matter, Tom? I see your bird tells me. Anyway, we've compiled... Second thing. A list of the top ten things we don't like about Edinburgh. One. It's too near Glasgow. It should be further east. Say, Norway. Two. It's full of posh numpties with plummy voices who are about as Scottish as a Tamagotchi. Three. You can't get parked anywhere. Shug, you don't have a motor. Doesn't mean to say it doesn't annoy me, Tom. Just because I don't have webbed feet doesn't mean to say I don't like swimming. Four. Rose Street. Nothing but big growlers stunned outside tubs, no one anybody with a whiff of a Glasgow accent in. How do they do that here, Tom? I don't care, Shug. Here you expect it. But the Edinburgh people should be extending the hand of friendship. Is your money not good enough? Well, no, if you've only got two quid and it's 2.80 a pint. Robin bastards! I wouldn't give them it. You can stick your pubs. Well, we need to find another number four then. Five. The tattoo. What a load of crap that is, eh? Soldiers with nothing to do, marching up and doing twirling their rifles through their heads. I will get real jobs, you numpties. Which leads us on to six. The castle. Oh, big deal, Gasparuni. Edinburgh's got a castle. What for? Who the hell would want to invade it in the first place? They probably built it for the American tourist town. Probably. Seven, the Edinburgh Festival, where every talentless fanny in the world congregates upon us and they pretend to perform in their own art. Who helped you with that, Inshug? The director, he wrote it down a wee bit of paper for me. What's he? Which leads us on to eight, train spot. What the rubber duck was that all about? The other side of Edinburgh town. The other side of a bad dream, Shug. I mean, half it was filmed here in Glasgow. What does Raj mean? I have a clue. But you must admit, films like that fair pit the sound of music in its place. And I thought he could swear. Oh aye, nine. Who are they Henry's in the bath birds? You know the ones with names like Campbell, Farquhar and Roddy? Aye, always turning up at do's in their kilts, all red faced and pissed, trying to do the Highland Fling and fun in their arses. Oh aye, and people for the borders, you know, for places like Kelso and Hoyt. Well, I suppose technically they're only for Edinburgh, but they're just as bad. The rugby crowd shug. And as my wee mate said, big poofs who can't play football. I think the list said about that the better. And finally, the New Year party. Imagine being herded in like sheep, stunning in the pouring rain, waiting for a big gun going off. Glasgow's the place to be at the bells, no old Ricky. Aye, and that's a good name for it. Although, pure minging would do just the same. So there you are. There's ten reasons why we hate Edinburgh. Aye. Oh aye, and hibs are pish. There is another way to see the tune, and it's this, you open top bus tour. Won't I? I'm going up to see you. You could have a very beautiful view of Glasgow City Chambers. Two things you need to remember. One, rain. Two, pigeon shit. Especially when you go under bridges. That's the reason for the baseball cap, by the way. I'll tell you, you really get a feeling of the city when you come on a tour like this. Aye, and the whiffs too. 
Ah, yeast. <laughs> Tenants Brewery, <laughs> that way. Ah, chicken tikka. The coup and ur. Tap end of Sucky Hall Street. See these tours, they're great if you're an old biddy, you know, and you can't get about the town. Because they get through streets like Bar Street, Pope Street, and the most famous in them all, Sucky Hall Street. Aye, it's also the longest and the hardest to spell. No, the problem with these tours is, you keep getting stuck in traffic. There's only one way to see Glasgow, and it's on foot. A pure head student, so again. I mean, get jobs, you numpties! This is a Royal Infirmary, probably the oldest hospital in the world, but uh, I don't know because I haven't really checked. Aye, and you can forget ER, there's no George Clooney's work in there. This is where the real doctors and nurses work. Aye, you should see this place on a Saturday night, a flotilla of taxis dropping after walking wounded. Aye, the instant arsehole just had Lager Brigade, pissed out their tits with blood, pissing out every orifice. Hey Tom, I think we're beginning to steer, we're voting controversial waters here. I don't care, Shug, it has to be said. There's people out there need help, we can't get it because the doctors are too busy treating all the nut jobs. Ah, you're right. If we're showing them Glasgow, they have to see this side as well. Right, your bam sticks out here. Here's a simple rule that'll keep you at that place. Drink only alters your mental capacity, no your physical capacity. Tom here will explain. Right, if you're five foot two and you can hassle for a bouncer that's six foot four, See, after 10 pints, you're still going to be 5'2 and he's still going to be 6'4. Aye, so keep that shut. It's simple physics, really. Simple? Aye. Like us, you've probably passed this place hundreds of times and never came in. That's what we should have done. No come in. Shut up. Right, this is the necropolis. Told you you could see it. It's from the ancient Greek word meaning city of the dead. It's 230 feet high and used to be called Fur Park. Aye, the director wanted us to come in here at night to create an atmosphere. Aye, right. I'd be shitting my kegs if I come in here in the dark. Shug. My granny says it's not the deed you should fear, it's the living. And she was right enough. Just think of all the loonies that come in here at night. Who would come in here at night? You know the ones, all the goths with the, the faces all pierced and the birds all dressed like Martisha out of the Adams family. Don't talk shit. Why would they come here when they've got Byers Road? Right enough. You know, this is a place of peace and tranquility. No the set for zombie flesh eaters. Oh, is that right? Well, do you want to put your money where your mouth is? What do you mean? I'll bet you a fiver you couldn't stay in here all night yourself. A fiver? Aye. Done. Oh, don't be so clatty. Well, that's a fiver. <laughs> That'll be shug. Wouldn't you bet on it? This is the Kingston Bridge. It's the longest bridge in any British city. And you want to get your arse out of it as quick as you can. And that's the reason for it. It's held together with pins. Aye, it's falling down. Someday, somewhere has made a pig's ear yet. Aye, and it's going to cost millions to fix. The Romans can build bridges that last thousands of years. We can't make one that lasts 30. Well, that's your tallies for you. Pizzas and bridges. Can't be beat. Did you know that G.G. Burns in Mathis Street was a world champion clock dancer? I didn't know that, Shug. Or that Sir John Logan Campbell founded Dockland, New Zealand. I never knew that either. Or that Glasgow has the highest rate of coronary heart disease. Eh, it's on this wee book of facts, you know. Can I see it a wee minute? Aye. Now, have you done your research in Charles Rennie Macintosh? Well, sort of. This is the Glasgow School of Art, designed by Charles Rennie Macintosh, born 1886, and in recent years his style has seen a revival. Here, that was good, wasn't it? I could get a job on the telly. Anyway, over to Shug, who will now demonstrate Macintosh's unique flair. Right, this is a normal chair, right? And this is a Charles Rennie Macintosh chair. Look, you just make the back bigger. That's it. 
That shoot explanation, he Charles any Macintosh? No, no, there's mere time. See when he get fed up with all that, he went into the sweetie business. Could we just cut it there? I want a word with you. No, wait, wait, there's mere. Listen, did you know Big Chief Sitting Bull, Stephen Dennison? No, it's true, it's true. We should have been a Wild West show with Wild Bill Hiccup. Timmy, yeah. yeah. That there is the oldest house in Glasgow. Aye, and this is the St Mungo's Museum of Religion and Art. No, most museums are boring, but this must be the most boring in Glasgow. Aye, what next? A museum of anoraks? Well, so far we've insulted the Muslims, now the Christians. There's only the Jews left. The museum is three Jews. You know, Tam, I can feel one of the musical interludes coming on. No one of the three-minute fillers that's got bugger all to do with the plot, but enables the video to go to the running time on the cover. The very thing. Two, three, four. <laughs> Climbing up your blocks and down your ivory towers We'd like to offer our own special point of view A critical opinion on the city you thought you knew We're tearing up the guidebooks and checking out our good looks in your town You've seen us at the steps to your museums Voicing our opinions so everyone can hear them We're dancing with the statuettes and slagging off the architects in your town Hey Sean, what's that town? You don't appreciate all the paintings in the galleries Oh is that right? Well maybe I don't town But I'm not interested you see in what you call culture of identity Are you right? It's the different people I love but then again, that's just me. Just finish your chips. We may be overwhelmed at your monuments. We might just take the making from your strange accents. We're critical but honest in delivery. Experience the time and shock philosophy. We're climbing up the land post and changing all the signposts in your town. Hey, hey Tom. What shall I do appreciate all the sculpted in the galleries? Is that right? Then how come you're staring at the fire extinguisher? Is that what it is? Aye. Well, it might be that to you, but it's still art to me. Fair enough. In many years from now, when you're gonna be old, and the story of your town is sure to be told. I hope to get the message from the two of us We're climbing up the lamppost and changing all the signposts Standing at the bus stops, admiring all the tower blocks Checking out our good looks and tearing up the guidebooks in your town That was good time, eh? No bad, no bad. Wait, it again? No. You can forget your SECC and your Royal Concert Hall. If you're of a certain age, I just have to say one word, the Apollo. That's two words, Chuck. Or the real band used to play there, before they flattened it, of course. Now, I'm not exaggerating. When I tell you that that was one of the best venues in the world, never mind Glasgow. See Oasis, Oasis weren't even good enough to play in there. Aye, all the top bands of their time used to play there. And the best of them all, Tam? The contest, Chuck. The quo, absolutely outstanding. Aye, the balcony used to be jumping up and doing when the quo were getting it all day. Oh. Great days. Great days. Great memories. Great memories. But there's no use explaining it. If you were there, you know what we're talking about. Oh, by the way, we mean the co when they were good, you know, Caroline rocking all over the world and that. No one knows house party and we turn up to do it in an envelope co. Like every major city, we have what's known as a red light district. And here it is. Aye, we can't tell you where it is. All we can say is it's in the heart of the business community. But if you're for the tune, you know where it is. I know. Don't play the dummy. Shug, is that not that bird you brought to your shield? Who's swarming her there? No. Oh, it is? No, it's no. I'll grant you, if you hear her, she does look a bit like her. It is her, you dirty dog. No, it's no. Do you think I couldn't get a bird for a party, eh? Do you think I had to pay for it? Aye. Don't talk rubbish. Well, how come she's waving her? No, she's no. She, she's just coming. Is that the time? Oh, let's not forgo. I need to go to the, uh... Clinic? Tenor. 
Do you know your flies do? We'll go again. Do you know Glasgow has got its fair share of cowboys? Okay, my friend, listen up. Because I'm going to say this just the once. I said, I'm going to say this just the once. There ain't room in this here stage for both of us. So I reckon you have to leave. I think not, my friend. See this here pistol? I have seven matches. One for every man I have killed. So, sorry, me, clean it up after, okay? <clears throat> well, how come I'm counting ten matches, friend? What are the other three for? They are my bonus matches. This is a grand old Opry. A haven for Glasgow's country and western fans. It's a great night out and I've seen a recent upsurge due to the line dance craze. Aye, the only line dance in that day is when I get a treble up at the bookies. <laughs> There's one person that's benefited from this craze, a showbiz legend in these here parts. The one, the only... Thank Christ. Sidney Devine. Wee steak and kidney himself. Glasgow's king of country and western. The way Sidney pronounces Babels has to be heard to be believed. Aye, and the jumpsuits he wears on stage have to be seen to be believed. Then there's the yodeling. Aye, well, I think that was due to the jumpsuit, Tom. It was that tight it was squashing his eggs. Know what I mean? Let's face it. Is we fat, they can sing bugger all, but people love him, and there's nothing wrong with that. Aye, and the same people that were slagging him off were getting the bus same as we said they drove past him in his roller. That's right, and he laughed all the way to the bank with his line dance video set like hotcakes. You see, this is where this jealousy thing Glasgow people have. The man sells records, he had his own telly show, and he's got his own fan base. Okay, he's a rank rotten chatter, but so what? Aye, he's the kind of Keith Richards of the Daniel O'Donnell generation. We've been told to tell you a wee bit about the architecture of the town, which is buildings, statues, bridges, roads, all that kind of stuff, you know. Well, as you can see, we've got loads of buildings. Aye, we start using them. You know, soldiers, lions. Women with big jugs. Women with big jugs. But this is the most famous of them all. And the reason for its notoriety? It's because some numpty keeps putting a traffic cone in its napper. Aye, some nutter must climb up there every Saturday night, pissed out his tits and pop that thing, won't it? He could break his neck, look at the height yet. I know, I bet the police are fed up lifting these numpties. I mean, at the start it was funny, right? But the joke's wearing a wee bit thin now. That's not funny. Get up. Unless there's an ulterior motive. What do you mean? Maybe the council pays somebody to do that. Oh, I think you're havering a bit new, Tam. Am I? Think about it. Where does the cone come from? Have you seen any traffic works about here? No. I, I don't see some turn up walking about the street with one under his arm. Oh. Weird, isn't it? Weird. Come on, they might be watching. They're always watching. Who? Oh, I've no clue. This is the West End, but as we like to call it, the Twilight Zone. Aye, it's where you find every weirdo known to man. And as you can tell by our welcoming intro, we hate this place. Yep, Creep City. This is where the professional people live, you know, the kid on glass regions. Aye, all for coats and knee knickers, you ask me. You all live in these big sandstone buildings with the high ceilings. Buy their furniture out the bars and kid on the boat at an antique shop, you know. You're right. Too tight to buy a decent suite out of landmark or somewhere, so it's all wicker chairs and big cushions. Friend of my arse, it's tight, do you hear me? Tight! Aye, and all the women are peroxide blondes and talk with plums in them with. Which isn't an easy feat in my book. Well, it depends what kind of plums you're talking about. Keep it clean, you don't know who's watching. Maybe if you hear, I hope. Then there's the wee dogs. They all have these wee dogs. I wee yappy things. You know, I seen a woman the other day wiping her dog's ears with a sponge. And they put me right off my egg roll, so it did. And they all drive these wee daft motors. You know the kind, Citroen CVs, Volkswagen Beetles, to express their individuality. My ring it is, it's cause you can buy them for next to nothing. These are the meanest people in Glasgow. You will not find any big issue sellers up here. Aye, Tom's right. And then there's the student types. I mean, look at them. They're all walking about with these bags. Even the men. And I use that term very loosely. It's no joke. And none of them work. They're taking a year out to find themselves. Well, 
Take a look in the mirror. You'll be the Peely Valley one with the nose stud and the bad hairdo staring right back. He's lost it. I'm going to find out what's in their bags now. We've just been to one of their cafes and the soup was chickpea and onion. Now, to me, that's no soup. That's the contents that they bought me a hamster's cage. No wonder they all look so peely wally. Aye, and it was three quid a bowl. No wonder they're all so skint. No, to me, soup should be like your granny used to make, you know, piping hot with vegetables in it, and the remains of some sort of dead animal. No chickpea. Hey, do they want our chickpeas? I dread to think, Shug, but you'll probably be on the pan all night. Oh, cheers. Well, you should have the carrot cake like me. Four slices. Shug, hug the plums. I'd better offer Tom. Come on.